This is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to fix the Alienware Aurora R13 thermal issues. My first step was replacing the thermal liquid cooling system with the Cryotech version. I know some people prefer to replace it with a third party option, but me personally, I do prefer the looks of it and uh, I decided to go with the Cryotech version. I was able to find two options, one of them being Amazon for about $185 and the second one on eBay for about $140. I decided to go with the eBay seller. The shipping took about four days to get delivered. After that, I proceed to do the installation. I did some testing and I was able to see about seven to 10% improvement over the previous temperatures. After doing all that installation, I had a second concern, which was the front fan noise level. I decided to go with the Noctua NF-P12 instead of the NF-F12 just because the P12 is a little bit more faster than the F12. In the Alienware command center, you're gonna see something uh, kind of weird. I'm not sure if this is a bug issue or not, but when you're trying to uh, put the fans on a custom profile to 100%, they max out at 38%. What I figured it out later on is that this fan speed tops at 1700 RPM. Compared to the stock fans, they do spin about 4000 RPM. So this is why uh, it maxed out at 38%. It took me a minute to figure it out, but they still pulled a lot of air in. They're super quiet and they are a big improvement over the stock fans. The third thing I did was swapping out the stock 3090 for the Founders Edition 3090 and I also did the thermal pads upgrade with the g -Lead brand uh, thermal pads. Um, I do prefer the looks of the Founders Edition compared to the stock one. That's why I decided to do the upgrade. It's a little bit bigger, this graphics card. That's why you gotta take out uh, the black bracket that goes in the power supply power connector. It's pretty easy to take it off. Just you take that off and you also got to take off the air duct there's a plastic air duct that needs to come off in order to have the enough space to place this graphics car this is a personal decision you can either way keep the stock uh, graphics car and do the thermal upgrade you either way you're gonna see a big improvement if you do it on the stock car this is more like a personal preference but i do recommend that you do the thermal patch upgrade on your graphics car all this information applies to the Alienware Aurora R13 models and the R14 models. Another fun fact to keep in mind is that both the R13 and the R14 share the same type of mount, meaning that for some reason Dell decided to use LGA1700 for both motherboards. So that's gonna be all for now. Uh, you're gonna find all the links of the products that I mentioned on the description of the video. I'm not paid by any means by any company at all. I'm just a end user trying to figure it out how to fix this beautiful computer. And I know a lot of people, you know, they love the look of the computer, but they see so many bad reviews out there that they decide to step away from it. Uh, after you do all these steps and uh, do all these upgrades, you're gonna see a big improvement in terminal performance. So uh, I hope you find this video useful. Hopefully I'll save you some time of research and headache. And if you like the video, drop a like, maybe subscribe. I'm new to this channel, but yeah, thank you for watching.